Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Milena, and I love all things beauty and tanning, so if you love either of those two things, you are in the right place. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Please don't forget to do that. If you are loving my content, my tanning videos, and if you love beauty in general, you're going to love my channel. So make sure to subscribe and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up for the Bondi Sands Aero Express Self Tanner which is what we're going to be talking about today. So for today's video, we are going to be reviewing and demoing the Bondi Sands Aero Self Tanning Foam One Hour Express. I'm so excited about this because I really, really liked the original Aero Ultra Dark by Bondi Sands, not the original, the Ultra Dark. I thought it did a really good job and then recently one of my subscribers shout out to them let me know to do a review on this I honestly didn't even realize that Bondi Sands had an express self tanner I know I'm a disgrace I'm sorry but now I know and I was really really excited to review it so here we are I ran to the store today got it and we are doing this review Really, really excited about it. It says that it's a quick dry formula and I was so, so fascinated. On the back, it says that the time it takes obviously depends on the level of color you want. This one says that if you wait 30 minutes, you get a light to medium color. If you wait an hour, you get a dark color. And if you wait two to three hours, you get the darkest color. So obviously we're gonna wait the two to three hours because it's me, but I thought it was really nice that they really broke that down for you and you don't have to wait the full three hours to get the darkest color and you only have to wait 30 minutes if you want a light to medium so that is very very nice so i'm only going to do one coat of this i feel like that's kind of a better way to do things for my videos with the express tanners so let's just get right into it it says it smells like coconut so i'm hoping it doesn't let me down with the smell get my handy dandy mirror my brush, obviously. I shook this up, and then I'm just gonna get a little bit onto here. Ooh, okay, there we go. And we're gonna start with our face. You guys, always make sure that you're bringing this up to your hairline as well. You don't want a really white patch up where your hair is and then your face is tan you're just giving away that you have a fake tan on so always make sure to work it up to your hairline and a brush is the best way to go for your face and your hands and feet in my opinion it just gives you the most even natural looking tan All right, that was pretty quick and easy. It definitely is drying down quickly. It doesn't feel too sticky on me at all. It definitely does have a coconutty smell, but it has that kind of, I know it's gonna turn into a spray tan smell kind of thing behind it too. So I know with the original, it does smell nice in the beginning and then it turns into that inevitable self tan smell but this is nice, it's not strong, it's pretty subtle. I can't complain about the smell at all. The color that came off is, or the color barrier that came off is very nice. It didn't come off too dark. I think it looks perfect. Um, my hands turned out pretty nice so far. We will see how those turn out in a few hours, but so far, so good. Only good things so far, nothing really stuck out to me that bothered me at all besides the fact that the consistency of this foam it can be a little bit messy because it's very it's kind of a firm foam consistency if that makes sense 
Like it's very, it's not liquidy. So it kind of, if you're not careful, it'll fall and stuff. So it is a little bit messier, but it's a good product that doesn't bother me too much. So we are going to move over to doing my legs. Now that I have applied self tanner to my upper half, not my stomach yet, and my legs, I am going to do the rest of me off camera. I'm going to leave this on for two to three hours like it says for the darkest color and then I will see you guys probably in about four-ish hours to give you my final thoughts, my final review on the Bondi Sands Aero Self Tanning Foam One Hour Express. So I will see you guys soon. All right, I'm back. It's been about four hours now. I waited about two and a half hours before washing this off. I thought that was a, a pretty good amount of time. And I have to say, I really like how this turned out. I'm really happy with how even it is. It didn't make my elbows crazy dark like how self tanners typically do, which is a huge, huge plus. My hands look really, really natural. And I have to say, that's one of my favorite things about express tanners in general, is that my hands don't get as crazy, dark, patchy, self-tan looking like they do with the regular self-tans. So that is one thing that really, really makes me love express self-tanners even more. The smell didn't bother me at all for those two and a half hours. And this dried down really, really quickly. Like I went about my day, went to the grocery store, did some things, and I didn't feel like I had self tanner on. So that's also a huge plus. Obviously the biggest determiner for me is the color. Is this the darkest self tan out there? No, I think the Loving Tan that I reviewed last week was darker. But this one still turned out really, really, really beautiful. I'm extremely happy with it. I think it's a really, really good product. I don't have any complaints about it really besides that one complaint I had about it being a little bit messy. There are other self tanners that aren't as messy, aren't as thick of a consistency as this is. But that's not really a huge downside to me. It's easy to clean up. It wasn't a big mess, so it's not a big deal. But overall, this is a really, really good self tanner. I'm definitely gonna be using this again. I definitely think that if it continues like this, I'll probably repurchase too if I run out. So I'm really happy with this. Love how my color turned out. I don't really have much else to say, you guys. I'm really, really happy with this. I definitely recommend this. I think I paid $29 for this and you get 7.61 fluid ounces or 225 milliliters. So it's a lot of product in here and you're only paying $29. So I definitely recommend this one to you guys. All I've got though, if you liked my review and demo of the Bondi Sands Aero Self Tanning Foam One Hour Express, then make sure to give this video a huge, huge thumbs up. Show me some love. Make sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think of this or let me know if there's any other self tanners out there that you guys want to see me review and demo. I'm more than happy to. I know there's a whole ton of them out there a lot that I probably don't know about. So please make sure to comment and let me know if there's one that you wanna see. Share this with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you love videos about self tanning or beauty in general. You are going to love my channel. I post three times a week, so I have a lot coming for you guys. But that's all I've got for this one. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video.